my first language, uh, when I was a little child at home, we spoke both French and English. Because as soon as I, I started going to school, when I started going to school, my parents stopped talking to me in French. But my grandparents never did speak English. So depending on where we were, what we were doing. With my friends, I would always speak English. Use, with the older people, I would always talk French. Is there pressure on, on the French culture there? I mean, pressure to, I don't mean a deliberate kind of contrived pressure, but is it under pressure from the mass of North America? Is it threatened? Well, the, the thing about it is, is that the Cajun people do not feel themselves threatened by the fact that they're surrounded by, we consider ourselves to be American people. And the fact that 30 years ago, French was uh, forbidden in the, in the public school system in Louisiana, sort of brought on a series of events, which in my generation means that very few people practice the French language. But all the people are still uh, very proud to be of Acadian heritage. But since it, it was accomplished in my father's generation, um, to become a good American, to have a future in the United States, we had to speak English, and there was it was, it was done willingly because it meant a better future. There's, a, there's, a there's no parallel to what has been going on. Not really, America. because it's such, a, it's such a small community. And besides being uh, re relatively small, the community never had any um, literature or education. It's the people that live in Louisiana and practiced, who spoke French until 30 years ago, because they were isolated. Where are you finding your stuff then, Zach? Are you going back into the old heritage, the old yeah. Cajun music? Yeah, the music that I, the Cajun music that I play, I started out playing. I was just another uh, American rock and roller, you know. And four years ago, I got this accordion on, on a kind of an advance from a record company, and then I started getting into it. And it's all around me. It's all it's all around Southwest Louisiana. But you're very popular in Quebec, and I I just I was talking to someone today who says that you're now catching on very largely in France that Cajun music, and you're a big star of Cajun music, is, is coming back in France. Yeah, we've been, we've been working in France for the last three years. Every summer we spend about two months there.